guys, my name is Meg and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting video because I am going to be telling you guys my skincare routine as a model living in Korea and since I have come here I have found the nicest, most incredible skincare and I really want to share it with you and hopefully you can learn something from this video. I do have to say my camera stopped working at the end of the video so part of it is on my phone but hopefully that's okay if you like these kinds of videos please like subscribe hit the notification bell thank you so much for 1500 views i'm really really grateful i hope we can keep going with it and yeah enjoy this video gonna start off with the hair because also hair is a big part of skincare I feel like sometimes if I'm not using the right products on my hair then it can actually affect my skin so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just brush through my hair try to make sure that I'm not washing my hair every single day because it's not very good I'm gonna start off and use the system professional luxe oil keratin restore mask on your hair and you leave for five minutes it's almost like a conditioner texture I'm just going to feed this through. I'm going to leave this on and before I actually wash it out, I definitely have to use this belt massager. And this just really locks in any of the product and it's really good for hair growth and healthy hair. Another significant thing that I really want to talk about, especially being here in Korea, is a shower filter. My shower filter, I'll show you, this is it. It was very cheap from Amazon. In Korea, the quality of the water is very different from the quality of water where I live. I've heard stories about people losing their hair and the water here affecting their skin. So when I came here, I really wanted to make sure that I was taking care of my hair as well. So I brought my water filter and I have been here for almost a month and there has been no changes in my hair. It's actually looking even healthier because I don't use a water filter at home. So that is something to be aware of before you come here, definitely. I'm gonna leave this hair mask in and drink some lemon water. And also, before I start my skincare routine, I really wanna take all of my vitamins. As a model, you have to look after your body and your skin and everything like that. And the biggest, most significant part, apart from skincare, is diet. And a really clean diet, drinking lots of water, taking vitamins can really help make your skin hair and nails really shiny and glowing. Both of these are from here in Olive Young, which if you don't know, Olive Young is like the Sephora of Korea. It is absolutely everywhere. I went in and I have bought these Be Clean Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. I'm gonna start by taking two of these. I take some elastin from BB Lab and this is also found here in Korea. I'm not too sure if this is a Korean brand or not, Honestly, I've noticed like my skin is glowing, everything, my nails are growing, but it tastes like peach. Important the way that you treat your body and you eat completely processed, it's gonna negatively impact your skin. If you don't eat enough, it's gonna negatively impact your skin. So finding an 80-20 diet where it's mostly unprocessed foods is definitely, definitely helpful. You can actually, I will pop it up here, you can have a look and different parts of your face show different things when you have a breakout. So really pay attention to where you're having breakouts if you're experiencing them go online see how it affects it and see what foods are anti-inflammatory etc etc and especially for women hormones are so important so you really need to actually assess where you are and the different points of your skin where you're experiencing breakouts or dryness or oiliness Let's take a step back and look at your diet look at your lifestyle and adjust it to help your skin better this is the Elkin face mask. I've had this since August. This has been the most transforming for my skin. As you can see, it comes with this little remote and this remote, you can click different colors. So we have red, blue, which blue is anti-blemish. It kills the bacteria. Red is anti-inflammatory. Then we have yellow and we also have purple. I will pop here all the different benefits of each light. Depending on your skin and depending on what you're looking for, you can choose automatic which puts all of them on at the recommended time or you can use manual so if you're experiencing a blemish and you just want a quick 
five, ten minutes getting rid of it, then I would do that. This works absolute wonders, this face mask. I don't know if you can take me seriously right now. I'm gonna have a shower and wash this hair mask out and I will be back to you guys with my skincare. I'm just out of the shower. I use this brand called Tricell. I use the Day Collagen shampoo which is amazing now i get this in olive young this is kareen as well my skin really likes it it's very gentle and my hair always feels really really nice afterwards and it's twenty two thousand from olive young for two so it's really good i like to towel dry my hair and use this oil hair oil a little squirt onto my hand i'm ready for bed and i've decided i'm going to do a face mask as Korean face masks are the Mediheal face masks. You can find them in many stores, but I'm using Olive Young. I have three. I have the Vitamin Essential Mask, the Hydrating Essential Mask, another Soothing Essential Mask, and Pore Care Essential Mask. I think I'm going to do the Vita Essential Mask for brightening. It's what I'm feeling right now. And you put this on and leave it on for about 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. A citrusy scent actually. And these face masks I found have so much serums and everything like that on them. This mask is on. I'm going to chill out and enjoy this for about 20 minutes. It feels so nice and soothing. One thing I've learned about being here in Korea is that the skincare is so good. It's way more affordable than at home so that everyone can have access to good skincare because People here have really good skin. This mask feels so nice. It, it's feeling very hydrating, but I'm gonna stop talking because it looks so crazy on camera. It's been a minute and it's this face mask is ready to come off. So I'm just gonna peel it off. My skin feels so glowy and refreshed. What I'm gonna do is quickly, while the serum and everything is still on, lymphatic drainage massage. I rave about lymphatic drainage. It's so important, your lymphatic system drains out all the toxins and it doesn't have a manual pump it actually just help to lift and firm my skin and i follow the moments on youtube and she is really really good at this and she has follow along videos that last five to twenty minutes for all different things and also if you keep the packet you can grab the serum from the face mask it starts with opening up the lymphatic um, around your collarbones which is the most prevalent part but mm, this smells so good i think skincare is so important and really nice form of self-care i do these massages almost every day i think a big misconception with people as well is that you have to do all this stuff on your skin and for me like this is an in-depth skincare like i do this once every week or once every few weeks. Massage is all done. I'm gonna get into what I'm doing to go to bed. But before that, I need to talk a little bit about Charlotte Tilbury's face mask because this is another face mask that I do on a regular basis and it's the Goddess Skin Clay Mask. It lasts literally months. It's so nourishing. My skin always feels so amazing afterwards. So I just wanted to pop that in and tell you a little bit about that product I actually got while I was here. And this is the MANYO pure enzyme cleansing water i'm not too sure how you actually say it but i got this in olive young enzyme cleansing and it's for all skin types and actually a common theme in the products that i use is calendula moisturizing barrier and it's ph balancing healthy and low irritating and honestly the results from this already are so so good it's cleansing it lasts so long put it on a cotton pad and it also really breaks down the oils because i wasn't using a micellar water or double cleansing i was just using my face wash which you'll see in a little bit because i use spf every day which you should as well i need to double cleanse because it's harder for one face wash to break down all the oils and stuff from an spf for me the best products are the ones with the least ingredients and the most soothing and nourishing harsh products on my skin it definitely doesn't thank me and in the modeling industry going to castings every day like a lot more hard to to do something that's going to work that's going to have a good long-term effect but in the short term it's going to make your skin really oily or really dry 
So I just like to have soothing ingredients. Now onto the second step and this, you have seen this before if you've watched my other videos, is the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I love it so much, need a little bit and create a foam with some water. I've used this face wash for about a year. It really did transform my skin so, so much. Like I use it every morning, every night. It's so soothing. Ingredients are all natural and this will last you a very long time. And I only get the 230 milliliter one. You can get a bigger one, but honestly, I think this will last you like three to four months. Helps my skin. It soothes it. I get no irritation afterwards. Like I'm just looking at like at the texture that it creates. Like it's a beautiful feeling. Kiehl's is such a good brand, and they're one of those brands that I've just known and have such good products. This particular product is for the normal to oily skin type. I would actually love to get some different kinds of face cloths because I feel like mine are the best. If you have any recommendations for any brands that you think are really good and really nice, then please let me know. Do a little bit of exfoliation and I use the Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel Exfoliator. Use this almost never, like maybe once a month or once every three weeks because physical exfoliation on your skin is not essential and I honestly haven't done it for so long and it makes no difference to me. If you were going to exfoliate I would really recommend using a product that is not, a f doesn't have a physical scrub. One product that I'm trying to find while here in Korea but I can't find it anywhere an enzyme scrub so it's a powder and it turns into a face wash but almost like an enzyme peel for me personally i leave any face chemical peels etc to a professional i don't really like to experiment and put different chemicals on my skin this moisturizer is madagascar centella pro Seeker and rich cream and this is korean again i will find it and link it down below dries it is absolutely stunning look at the texture of this i love the way it's packaged and it also comes with this glass spoon so that you don't actually have to touch the skin so i just put a little bit on since using this my skin has become so much more glowy and soft so so gentle on your skin i really want to get the dr jot repairing healing skin moisturizer because that's also really good and that can be found in olive young very important tip for you this place called skin holiday or something like that it has a bit of a crazy name well the general gist of it is some products will be way cheaper not in olive young but they're the, still the same brand they're still the same product these products can be much cheaper like we're talking like three quarters of the price or even half the price sometimes compared to when you go to the olive young just because of the brand and you know like they can add on the fact that it's being sold in olive young and also if you are in korea and you are not from korea you can get tax free, so always take your passport to Olive Young, like two to three thousand won discount, which is amazing, and they do it every single time. And actually, most shops here do tax free. Going to bed, I'm not going to use SPF, we're going to go the other way, and I'm going to use the Ordinary's Caffeine Eye Solution. I don't really get dark circles, but it's definitely smoothed and kind of plumped up the skin under my eyes, which is really nice. 5% caffeine solution, which reduces the appearance of eye contour pigment and puffiness and I have actually not got puffy eyes after using this I'm just placing this underneath with my hands and please remember to be gentle on your skin unfortunately I have had to move over to my phone because my camera stopped working I really wanted to talk about spot cream right now so I use the boots with tea tree witch hazel stick and this has both day and night I'm gonna pop up on here but since I actually arrived I found out about this amazing spot cream which i'm gonna put here i actually have lost mine i don't know where it's gone but i need to buy another one but you have to get it like it got rid of my spot basically overnight it is in it is incredible like i've never seen a spot cream work faster and it's not that expensive it's about ten thousand, i think i also like to use the h plus a size fast on b5 and i put this on top of any blemish because it really helps heal the skin and when I had a really damaged skin barrier from some of the products that I was using this size of B5 really helped to heal that so the last thing that I actually do for my face is 
a lip mask when I'm going to bed and I recently got the Lamiege lip mask in the scent berry and just look at this. I'm so excited to get this because I have always wanted to get this lip mask. It smells just like berries, it smells amazing and I'm just going to use the applicator that I already have to put it on. And you really don't need a lot but this mask just really locks in moisture and it's really gorgeous especially when i have a job the next day i want to keep my skin as moisturized as possible i'm all about the dewy glazed donut look so i just like to pile and pile on the moisture onto my skin the wearer is not skincare but i think hand cream is so important and i've only recently started using it and i use the oud water live hand cream by w dot dress room wow this hand cream, my roommate showed this to me, she's literally like a skincare guru, but this hand cream is the most delicious hand cream I have ever tried. Like, I just love the smells here in Korea. Like, they really go for it with the scents. Like, it's always so nice. It's not sweet, but it's a very warm scent, and I really love this hand cream, and it lasts a long time. It's in a metal tube. So I have bought a few of these. Here is the final result of very glowy, moisturized skin. My main aim in this skincare routine is to literally just pile on the moisture at nighttime and I feel so hydrated and good by the next day and so ready to go to all of my castings and jobs. It's just amazing. If you guys have any questions or you need links to anything, please do feel free to comment down below or you can head over to my Instagram and send me a message on there. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.